neighbor can try and chase us down. All we gotta do, though, is open this door, and we're, we're in. Guess we'll keep following it around to this vault. Uh, it's the only way we can really go. With the ending of Hello Neighbor, many wondered about the unanswered questions. Would they ever be answered? Would there ever be a sequel? Hello Neighbor 2. I mean, the ending, like, what did it mean? It's gonna make my head freaking explode if I think about it anymore. Well, fear not, guys, because not Tiny Build, but another games company decided to take that place and finally answer the questions we all need answering. <gasps> that was difficult. My God. My god. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Big Fat Neighbor. So like if you guys took that intro seriously then uh, okay let's take it a few notches back. This was a game given to me by the company who developed Big Fat Neighbor and if you guys are honestly expecting like a serious video I mean you should probably wait till tomorrow. Alright and here we go guys. This uh this is it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> welcome guys to Big Fat Neighbor. Uh gee should we ask questions now or after? We play so many serious games on the channel, guys. I thought it was time to just kick it back and have some fun with something that's maybe not as serious, if you can't already tell. Totally original game, guys, and definitely not, you know, available for copyright infringement or anything like that. What is this game, man? What is going on? We have a huge piece of paper. So ominous. Amazingly bad- f uh? I don't understand. What is it? Oh my god! I don't know what it- what, what did it want? Did it want me to do that? So we casually have a UFO just hovering in thin air. Uh, I mean, I probably should have more questions, but let's, uh, let's not. <laughs> Check the inside, move the stuff. What, the inside of this? Is this my shack? Or, I mean, is this like my, uh, you know, medieval tavern? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, thanks, thanks, game. This is probably my stuff right here, and uh, I can't actually pick it up. Uh, I can definitely kick it and break it, so that's good. All right, so I managed to collect one of my boxes, or uh, whatever these things are, and we are going to place it to... How do we even place? I guess we don't have many belongings. I mean, the size of these boxes in correlation to us, they're kind of small, and, like, the picking up mechanics, they don't even work. Okay, get the freak in here. There's four boxes. Last but not least, a barrel, apparently, for some reason, and a toolbox. So, uh, thanks for the really, really, uh, unappealing, you know, traffic sound. Apparently, we moved into a place as well that's already got trash outside. Not a good start at all. And I guess there's our neighbor. Uh, hey, friend, how's it going? Taking a nice casual stroll? I don't know what the freak he's doing, nor do I really care. So, you know what, we're just gonna mosey on around once you go in the trash, and we're just gonna instantly break into your house after moving in here about two minutes ago. And he's already got bear traps on the freaking floor, dude. I guess he's prepared for this moment then. So, what the freak is going- uh <laughs> Hold on a sec! <laughs> I don't- guys, I don't know what this game wants me to do. Alright guys, back into serious mode. What is going on right now? What the freak is it? Well, I have absolutely no idea what's going on, and I don't think the game does either, so I guess we're on the right track, I suppose? I'm gonna leave the neighbor that way. Now, I'm gonna go and- wait, what the- What is going on, dude? What the freak is this man? Like, what does he look like? Yo, dude, doesn't this shack belong in the Shire? Can I come in this guy's- I don't- I can't. I've got a power lever there, so we're gonna pull that. I'm not sure if I've uh, introduced power or took it away. Another lever there, of course it doesn't work. And a button on here. Uh, it's got one power. I'm not sure what it wants us to do. Some boxes to decide. Maybe pop these on here. Yep, doesn't do nothing. Smash this window here. Oh my goodness. Pop through this window right here. What even is happening? So wait, this dude's got like a bath next to the biggest window in his house. He's not keeping anything private clearly. And apparently he sees me. I don't even know where from, guys. I mean, I don't really care, to be honest. So I managed to find another way in this place. Uh, neighbor's just gone that way, so he was upstairs. We're gonna go and run on up. I, I don't really know what this game is trying to be, so I I'm just playing it, you know, I literally for what it is, full stop. There's one door, neighbors just casually got a coffin. I mean, probably in this world, maybe that's normal, you know? We've got the Shire and like Hobbiton over there with the UFO. Uh, he puts bear traps apparently in his own room and like, what the freak is this? Like 50 shades? Look, neighbor, if you're into that, then fine, but you've got no one that lives near you, so like, you do this to yourself. But apparently, a little case right here gives us a wrench, so that's probably gonna be for taking off some kind of spanner. Hi. Even though this neighbor's clearly got a few loose already, if you know what I'm saying. Water dripping right there from uh, the ground, apparently. Another room. Uh, clearly inspired. Maybe he's watched the uh, sequel to the first one. You guys know what I'm talking about. He's got like a porch as well. Got some, uh, I guess, piping going up. And uh, maybe this is causing like a leak somewhere and we've got to fix it. Okay. And I don't... <laughs> you see that dude like inhaled by the fire? 
It's not good, guys. I'm really scared. I am so scared. Look at this guy running. All right, we're gonna jump off right now just because he's a dingus. We've got ourselves a spanner. Wait, what the freak is this? The rain room? This guy has a rain room? He installed this? All right, well, let's stand in the rain. Um, wait, what the... Uh, I mean, I should be concerned, but really? Not at all. 1942. Okay. Oh, maybe that's a code for something, actually. It had an arrow pointing down, so what, 2491? Is, is that like a, a code? Like, wait, wait, what's that sound? All right. Well, I don't understand what's going on. What's this table for? People with, like, two-inch legs? Like, what What the freak is this? If I stand like that, is like knee level. Secondly, like, what the freak is going on? A neighbor? Seriously? Okay, what is even going on? I, I don't even understand what this game wants to do. Computers, uh, floating chairs. Can we get behind this thing here? Uh, like, wait, what? Okay, there's a door. And there's a portal inside of the door. Okay, what is this? Even within two, it was an indie game? You know what I mean, guys? Let's go in our house. And for some reason, there's another bright light staring at us. Okay, the UFO thing. What's going on? What is that? Okay, what is that? Man, baby. What the freak? It's got a big forehead. Coming closer, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again. Did I die? Uh, hold up a sec. It's just put me back here. Bruh. What? All right, well, let's try this again. Anything behind this door here? Like a kitchen. Uh, got like a fridge. Uh, okay, red key. Red key goes for the red lock just here. So there we go. Let's access this room. We got like an axe, okay. And a valve, I guess. Can we... No, we can't. Can I Can I use the axe to... Okay, I can literally just drop it. What is going on? This is clearly like the main... Okay, what is happening? Let's check around this side of the house. Uh, oddly enough, guys, I'm kind of having fun, but I can't take this game seriously, which means I'm just genuinely messing around here. Still not the slightest clue in terms of what this wants us to do. Do we need like a battery or something? Got like this lever here, which is completely busted. Oh no, guys, I've been found. I'm shutting myself in here so he doesn't be able to get me any ah! on me. What is this? Uh, it's like a, a pump system, water. So this trails along, so something to do with the water upstairs, maybe? Aha! That explains the rain room then. So I figured that one out. It was the 1249 code. I don't really care about being caught, by the way. All right, and that gives us a blue key. How exciting. And instead, I take the table. So what's this blue key for? Have I seen a blue door anywhere? Okay, I've been seen like, okay. I don't even think I've seen a blue door. That's like a good question. Okay, oh, I opened the door for the neighbor to catch me. <laughs> okay, so the blue key goes right here. Uh, let's go ahead and use that. What is that, a lever? Okay, I'm gonna pull that. And that in turn drops this. Let me just throw a key at the window. Straight to it. Well, there's a crowbar in there, so that's uh, that's majorly exciting. Let me just smash this window real quick. Apparently, he can see us, but like maybe the neighbor's deaf or something. Crowbar, thank you. I think this is for getting into the basement as well, guys, because there's uh, some stuff on the door, so I may as well use it. <laughs> We're still getting in that basement, neighbor. Ah, of course, uh, an axe to open this when we had, uh, you know, uh, a thing that pulls nails out of wood. And, and we don't use it for the coffin. All right, guys. Well, we know for the shovel, we got to go back outside and I guess dig. I don't know what to expect. Maybe a grave. We're going to dig up here and literally... Okay. Well, that was good. We... we do oh, we're still digging? Water? All right. Neighbor... Neighbor killed water confirmed? Oh, we got a battery. Okay. So the battery is obviously for over here as well. This is so exciting, guys. Big, big things happening. All this. Yeah. Even though the little meter thing didn't move and I'm like stumbling through this thing. Uh, there we go. Some house over here. Uh, a shotgun? Oh, okay, because th this is an original put- I've never seen this- No idea what that's about. Uh, I'm gonna go over to this dude's house and maybe see if he knows what's up. He does have a chest. Let me just see. He's got the, uh, the green key. So, okay, this guy's also trying to steal from the neighbor. Freaking dingus, take him back what's rightly mine. Okay, and he's taken. All right, then. All right, we're gonna use this even though- Wait, what? What the hell? Dude, I didn't even- Okay, well, thanks for that game. So that's like a, a valve. All right, we've turned that. So I have not- Oh, it's something to do with the water then, I guess. Can we, like, turn this one now? Yep, apparently so. The freak, I was getting into that. So I need to press one more valve. And uh, this looks like it trails- Is it over there, maybe? Ah, the third one is in his room. Let me just turn that real- Why, why won't it work? There we go. We don't look at it and then we press the E button. Good stuff. All right, well, the neighbor sees us. I'm gonna jump down. Uh, I guess we press this button here, and uh, well, there we go. Key goes in there, so uh, I need a key card now, I guess. I didn't even realize there was a house as well uh, at the back 
of uh, wherever this place is. I think, is it logs? Like, what's this? Hold up. They look like uh, little UFOs, uh, I guess. There's a third one of those little weird disc things in that room up there. Like, this thing's talking about, like, I don't know, a gun. Like, what is this? Can I use the wrench on this thing? Like, can I just... Wait, what? Maybe if I fall and throw it? Okay, well, that did smash it. Now I just need to... Oh, has it already... Oh, wait, no, it's fully extended up. God dang it. Then we could probably just fall. Like, if we fall just a bit and then, like... Well, there you go. Give me that weird alien disc. I'm ready for this to be over. We probably use it here. You see? And then, will this open? There we go. And inside we have, uh... What, what is this? A lever. I'm guessing it'll probably do something to this. Okay, apparently not. But it will do something to this. So, there we go. Uh, we pull this and I really don't... What the freak? Do I have to jump for this or something then? We could probably just about make that. And there you go. We managed to fit through, so I've got the keycard. Uh, amazing. All right, man, like, we don't have ankles apparently to break, so we can jump from whatever height. Maybe we're an alien, I guess. I, I don't freaking know. This, anyway, pretty much goes to the door, so yeah, maybe you can chase us down. But wait, but... Right, let's try that again. Neighbor can try and chase us down. All we gotta do, though, is open this door, and we're, we're in. I, I guess. What? guys well the uh, neighbor has aliens in his basement i guess and uh, he also enjoys looking at strange spherical sh shiny balls too i guess we'll keep following it around to this vault uh, it's the only way we can really go and okay guess we can't go through there uh, let me guess yeah okay that's an alien guys you know yeah big b congratulations we are working to to make the game better <laughs> There we have it, guys. That was Big Fat Neighbor. I mean, it is what it is. What, what were you expecting, really? I guess the only unique part was the fact that, for some reason, this this old man has aliens in his basement. And, uh, I mean, I, I don't... I, I'm actually speechless. I'm completely speechless. So we're going to go straight to outro. If you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like, rain, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one? Well, maybe, you know, maybe some similar. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one. You gotta jump. I can barely do that. And we got our character doing this jump. Oh, oh, we made it. We made it. He's been there a long time, though. As have you. So, guys, we gotta try and look for him.